Okay, today I want to talk about telemetry. It's the big thing in 2.4 gigahertz RC systems. Here's the high-tech system I reviewed the other day, and it has built-in telemetry, which means from your transmitter, you can tell what's going on in the aircraft. I'm going to give you a demonstration of this. I'll turn on the transmitter. There we go, one LED lit. I turn on the receiver. Here it makes a beep, and still one LED lit on there. Now I'll also turn on this voltmeter over here. So we can see the voltage that's going into the into the receiver. At the moment it's 4.46 volts, which is quite low, but still high enough uh, for the system to work reliably. What I'm going to do, I'll put this transmitter where we can see it, and you'll notice the red LED is on. Now I'm going to change, keep an eye on the voltmeter here, I'm going to gradually lower the voltage, and you listen and watch the LED. Now you'll notice the voltage has dropped down to 4.3 volts roughly. You can hear that beeping. And on the back of the transmitter, the blue LED is now illuminated, and the red one is actually flickering very quickly, which you may or may not be able to see, thanks to frame rates and so forth. So I'll hold this close to the microphone, you can hear it. So if you were flying this, you receive a battery voltage dropped to that level, your transmitter beeps, you know it's time to land and land very quickly. That's one of the things that telemetry can do for you. It's amazing. Now, I'll just turn this all off so we're not interrupted by that constant noise. Now, the other thing you can do with telemetry, of course, is you can hook up all sorts of sensors, um, GPS, all sorts of airspeed, all that sort of thing, and get that information back. Now, HiTech have a nice set of instructions that comes with the system, very nice, it tells you everything you want to know, but it doesn't tell you much about telemetry because that's going to be an add-on for the HiTech product. Now, HiTech have the telemetry built into their system, uh, but it's a bit of a black box at the moment because all you get by default is that low battery warning. Um, there is a little plug on the side of the HiTech receiver, which I'll show you now, um, which is called Data. See that? It says Data under there. And you'll be able to plug more telemetry sensors into here, things like, or so they tell us, airspeed, altitude, GPS, all sorts of stuff. We'll plug into here and send that signal back to the transmitter because on the back of the spectrum module, there is a little port, a little data port under a little cover here, which you won't lift up. Anyway, so you'll be able to plug stuff into your transmitter module, and that data will come streaming down into your whatever you've got connected to your transmitter. Okay, that's good, but will HiTech release the specifications? Because in the past, HiTech have been a little bit closed shop when it comes to the specs for things like how to program their servos, and even how to change modes on the Eclipse 2 transmitter, the, the Eclipse transmitter. They want you to send it in when, in fact, we know that you just change a couple of jumpers and swap a couple of springs and it works. Every other, just about every other manufacturer lets you change mode in your transmitter by yourself. HiTech won't let you do it with the Eclipse because it's proprietary secret, top secret information. So we'll have to assume that HiTech is a closed shop and that they're not going to give you a lot of information. They want you to buy their product. Now, by comparison, here is the FreeSky system that I reviewed a little while ago. Now, FreeSky have exactly the opposite. They have pretty much an open system. They don't have too much in the way of built-in functionality, there's no airspeed indicator or whatever, but they provide you with two analog inputs which you can use to measure your battery voltage. You can measure two voltages. You might want to measure the voltage of your flight pack, if you've got a pack that powers just your receiver and servos, and the voltage of your, your, your motive pack, you know, the one that powers your LiPo that powers your electric motor if you've got an electric powered aircraft. So, that's quite useful. And they have a data port that provides a transparent channel from the model to the transmitter. So you can send GPS data, you can send anything that appears in serial form through to the transmitter. So what I'm going to do, FreeSky have published, or they've, they've given me the details of the protocols, and they're very simple. It's not very hard. Anyone could work it out. They've given me this little system to evaluate. And at the moment, it's just some, some beer boards in here, which I have to put into the plastic. So it's, it's, a, it's an advanced sample of this technology, and I'm going to uh, rip into this. I'm going to make a couple of things. I'm going to make a little GPS system that I can plug into the receiver, and that will tell me things like how fast the model's going, how high it is, which way it's headed, how far away it is from the takeoff point. Really cool stuff. Um, the other end, on the transmitter module, I'm going to put, uh, build a little display so that I can display that information on an LCD, which will basically be sitting on top of the transmitter, a little LCD display. So that'll be my dashboard, so to speak. Now, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to publish all that information, the circuit diagrams, the software, all that sort of stuff, so people can do it themselves. And I'm hoping that this will make the FreeSky uh, a popular platform for telemetry because it's cheap, 
and the specs are open so anyone can make the changes and modifications. I'll just kick the ball rolling and then leave it for other people to do all the other stuff. Um, so that's telemetry. It's really interesting. I've done a lot of UAV stuff in the past where you have dedicated telemetry transmitters. So it's not, um, not that usual to have the telemetry built into the RC system. But now it looks like people are going that way. Jetty have done this. They've got the telemetry system built in. We've got high tech now. We've got free sky. About the only people who haven't done it in real time now, apart from Futaba and JR, is XPS, which is interesting because they were the people that kicked this whole thing off when they launched their XPS 2.4 gigahertz system a couple of years ago. It was going to be the best thing since sliced bread. It was going to have real-time telemetry, and still the XPS customers are waiting, waiting, waiting. They don't have real-time telemetry that comes back to the transmitter and gives them instant alerts to things like low voltage on the receiver battery, so they're miles behind. Okay. That's enough for this video, I've just giving you a taste of what telemetry can do. Um, in coming videos, I'll show you how the construction's going on the LCD, LCD terminal for the transmitter and on the sensors for the receiver. So if you want to see more of that, then drop me an email, let me know what you want, because if, if people want something slightly different, I'll build a system that's roughly in line with people's expectations. Um, that's it for me today. Don't forget, sign up to the uh, RC Model Reviews YouTube channel, because if you do, you could be in to win a whole lot of really cool stuff. And don't forget to drop in regularly to the website, which I'll be updating on an almost daily basis now that I've got a whole lot more reviews to do. There's more reviews to come, heaps to watch. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time on rcmodelreviews.com.